Hey guys, hope everybody is doing well. It is Sunday, June 9th. It's been it's been a couple weeks since uh, since you last saw the uh, the garden. We had everything out, and really we've just been uh, in maintenance mode out here, and uh, well, just letting everything uh, everything grow. We've had a chance to uh, weed a few beds and work on our other project that we will uh, we'll talk about in an upcoming video. But uh, for today, we'll just uh, we'll just take a look around the garden and see how everything is getting on. All right, so starting at one end, peas coming up, doing well. Beans, oh, germination. It's been pretty slow for the beans uh, this year, except for the ones on the end. Those are, I think those are the Scarlet Runners way at the end. Those are the, uh, I can't remember. Those are the uh, the, the red uh, and green kind of streak uh, green beans. So they, uh, yeah, they germinated very quickly. Whereas everything else is taking... Uh, Taking quite a bit of time to uh, to get rolling, and peas are uh, are doing well. Uh, pumpkin plants not uh, not doing great. Onions all standing up. Looks like the vast majority of them survived. There are a couple spots where a few onions are missing, but uh, but everything's looking looking good. Yeah, let's look in here. We do still have a little bit of poly on. Weather hasn't been hasn't been spectacular, but more onions, pepper plants. Let's see the rest of the row here. These pepper plants are doing okay. Not uh, good, not great. I don't know. They uh, they're putting peppers out already, but. Uh, yeah, they don't uh, haven't put on any new growth yet, so uh, yeah, we'll see what uh, what happens. We reseeded our carrots. Unfortunately, nothing has come up. Beets are now just starting to come up. Um, I don't know. It's uh, we haven't had, or there hasn't been a lack of rain. We've had tons of rain. Over the last two weeks, not too much sunshine, but uh, yeah, still the germination rates are not all that great. Asparagus has been good. Again, we weeded this uh, this bed. Very good, uh, good crop this year. We've been harvesting it almost every second or third day. These cucumber plants, while they may look very impressive, are not ours. Uh, most of the ones that we planted out died. I have no idea why they just kind of wilted and uh, and didn't make it so I had to resort to uh, going to a greenhouse and yeah purchasing some uh, some cucumber plants our lettuce here doing uh, doing very well again one side of that trellis is pickling cucumbers the other side, slicing cucumbers. Uh, let's see, are any of our, no, these, none of these are our plants. So none of them survived. This is kind of what they look like. Uh, I can't remember, I think these are the only two surviving plants from our, uh, from our seeds. And we, uh, we actually reseeded the bed uh, midweek nothing came up and even the cucamelons they're looking pretty uh looking pretty rough so i don't know what uh what happened with our cucumbers this year other bed of peppers this is the uh the bell peppers again not really not doing very well not taking advantage of the uh the three or four extra weeks that we uh that we gave them just now starting to put out uh, some new growth again the weather has been pretty cool these last uh, these last couple weeks and uh, and peppers do like it a little bit warmer but still 
not uh, not performing as well as I I would have hoped. Cherry plant doing well. Pollinators absolutely love the this plant. Tons of flowers, and hopefully that means uh, tons of cherries. It's neighbor here. Flowers came out a few days before uh, the other one, and these ones are all shriveled up. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get a good crop of cherries. Now, contrary to the other side of the garden, this side of the garden seems to be doing uh, quite well. Strawberry plants putting out tons of new leaves. The kohlrabi and kale all doing extremely well. We'll be starting to uh, to harvest the kale shortly. Swiss char not taking off as it normally does, but uh, but it's getting there. And our cauliflower, broccoli plants all doing very well. These are some of the easiest. <laughs> broccoli is probably one of the easiest plants to grow. It's it just takes off once it's in the ground, and and you get a broccoli out of it. Cauliflower is a, it takes it's a little trickier. Those plants doing very well. Tomatoes. Our tomato plants doing okay. Taking them a while to uh, yeah to really start uh, putting out some new new growth. It's just now starting to put out new leaves. That plant didn't make it. I don't know. Our melons again haven't haven't done anything since we put them in the ground. Uh, again, I don't know if it's the uh, the cooler weather, but they've had tons of rain. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We are testing out garlic. It's just now starting to come through our horseradish plants. That, uh, that is a new experiment for us. We'll see, uh, we'll see how those work out. Cabbage doing good, <laughs> as always. Savoy doing well, eh, regular cabbage. The eggplants, I don't know. Haven't, uh, another one that hasn't really put out any new growth since, uh, since planting them out. A couple flowers on each plant, but, uh, yeah, they haven't really, haven't really taken off like they usually do. Aspar, uh, no, not asparagus. Um, celery looks the same, same as when I transplanted them out two weeks ago. No new growth. Everything's just kind of on hold for some reason. And the squash bed. Yeah, looking looking okay. Things are still alive, but uh, they haven't really taken off yet. Still kind of, they're still waiting for something. Not sure what that is. And the next thing on the maintenance list is to weed, <laughs> obviously. Weed the blueberry, uh, the blueberry bed, but everything is looking, looking okay here. All right guys, that's it for this week. We did put a few plants in the, uh, the back kind of forest clearing that we have. It's just a spot for, uh, for extra plants that we can't, uh, that we can't give away. We just feel bad throwing them out. So we put them back there and, uh, and if they produce, great. If not, it's not really a, a big deal. Kind of a mixed, uh, yeah, mixed result this year. Not, uh, not as great as I expected from uh, from all the plants, given the uh, the nice weather we had earlier. Again, this last two weeks has been a lot of overcast, rain, and kind of cooler uh, cooler temperatures, which some of the plants did not seem to uh, to appreciate. Uh, would have been nicer if it was warmer. Maybe that's kind of what the uh, that may have been uh, a contributor to our germination issues. But uh, yeah, we uh, well we'll see what uh, we'll see what we have. Again, we are kind of working on another project that uh, that we'll talk about more in uh, in another video. But uh, yeah, until then, I'll see you later.